Oops. It died. What do we got today? Get my trusty old Niff out. A package from China. It might be a video game. It might be a bomb. It's, it's difficult for us to know. What do we have today? The 353M. Unpack this fella. Hmm. There we go. Save that tape for later. You never know. We have here the 353M. Now, as you all know, this is the third 353 to come out. You had the P, which looked like a super pre-tendo, which is for the P. You had the V, which was vertical. And now you have the M, which is metal. It's a little bit twisted in the container. Let's see what we got. SD card, a USB-C cable, screen protector, a color manual, and... Some wipes. Oh, get this jazz out of the way for now. Big moment. Big moment. What color is it? It's hidden. It's hidden. We'll never know until we open it up. <gasps> Ooh, premium blue. Ooh, it's it's almost opalescent. Ooh, beautiful. Get this box out of the way. Get this bag out of the way. Screen protector. Let's get this sucker on before I screw everything up. This is the back. Whew. Peel this off before the application. Oh, there's a speck of dust under there. I will never live this down. Screen protector. It's going to have to wait another day. I might have to get another one. Oh, well. So what do we got out of the box? Right out of the box is beautiful blue, oh, premium, premium metal feel. It's heavy, it feels heavy without being super heavy. I like these, break the screen immediately. These pads on the back, nice grip for your fingers. Buttons have a very nice level of squish. And these are the infamous Hall Sensor joysticks. We'll play with them later. L1, R1. L2, R2, nice click to them. You have your function button, your power, your HDMI out, your OTG, USB-C, your uh, headphone jack on top, I hate that. On the bottom you have your SD card one and SD card two. So let's take this name brand, totally legit card that they gave us, slide it in, I think that's how it goes. Click, yes. Power on. Where's the power button? On the side. So let's hold that down a little bit. You have volume on the side here. It's recessed, so you're probably not going to press it by accident. It's thinking about it. So this is Ambernick Emulation Station from the end of September. Probably first thing I'm going to do is get ArcOS or Jealous or something on there. It'd be really cool if um, a lineage build came out for this because the eh, as nice as it is. The Android stock experience isn't exactly uh, elegant and finished, but the screen, whew, it's very beautiful, very beautiful, crisp, a lot of colors, and just, this feels like a corporate handheld, right? This feels like this was made by a Nintendo or Sony, and just the metal, the metal is what does it. It has a premium feel. These little guys on the back, your fingers naturally get there. And it feels nice. Yes. The speaker on this is legitimate. It fires downward. It's a very rich sound. F plus B is call out the menu. Okay. F. Hey! How about that? 
See what it looks like with some shaders on. I've been kind of keen on this Z-Cell level 2 CRT lately. Ooh. i tell you what. This looks like it could be a pretty good uh, SNES Genesis 4x3 kind of device here. I, I can't get over how premium it feels, honestly. So I went to boot up the onboard Android, and it's just kind of saying Ambernic load. Let's try it again. There it is. Confirm. Let's try to find... Oh, what am I in the mood for today? Game Boy Advance. Let's see if we get Breath of Fire on here. L and R buttons are very clicky, but not in a bad way. I mean, I probably wouldn't play this next to my wife in bed if she was trying to sleep, you know what I mean? But otherwise, not bad. These hall sensors on these sticks, it's subtle, right? Like you're like, oh, whatever, it's thick. But I don't know, it's subtle. I, I don't know that I've ever used them. I didn't play a lot of Dreamcast. I don't have anything really fancy. But uh, it's subtle. They're clickable. But the whole whole effect is subtle. Zoo is this cool dude who's going to go fight some dragons. Or he is a dragon. Or something like that. Because this is one of our games of the month. Whoa. Wake up, warrior. Oh good, you're finally awake. Where's Sarah? Hey, have you seen Sarah? Oh yeah, Sarah. Well, I tell you what, I'm just gonna keep going back to it. It feels nice. That metal, compared to the plastic, it just feels nice. This little candy bar shape. And it's rounded. It's rounded just where you would want it to be, right? So I'm kind of playing it a little bit loose to film it. Normally I'd, I'd have my hands like this, you know, and I can look, you can see I can get my L2's easy, my L1's easy. I can kind of get L1, L2 just with this part of my finger. And then, so it's not as bad as you might think. These are in a really good position, honestly. Uh, D-pad is pretty responsive. Now with this, just like the V, some people in our review unit, review unit, our review team uh, have had issues where you can waggle this back and forth a little bit and get, you know, false inputs. I think it's actually would be good for like fighting games, easier to fire off. I haven't noticed it. I didn't notice it on the other one. Maybe I'm just lucky. I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out if I wanna give away the V or this as a Christmas present to one of my buddies. Cause you know, I don't need both. Or do I? No, Zoo, it's the holiday season coming. You can't be that mean. Or can I? No. So this is really just a first impressions kind of video, and I am planning on trying to stream on this, but these side panels are plastic. You can feel the difference. And I think what that does is it allows for the Wi-Fi to have uh, less obstructions, so there's not as much signal degradation or impacts. So we're gonna do a little speed test, and that's not bad. I would expect a little bit more, but I am in the basement. I am in my dank dungeon down here, not super close to the router. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, real quick first impressions. Retro handhelds, we will have more comprehensive coverage. I'm planning on doing a advanced game showcase on here. So, PS2, GameCube. Uh, I'm also thinking about doing a little streaming video on this. Just to show you that even though it's a metal case, it's Wi-Fi is still okay. Or, or maybe not. We'll find out. Stubbs is going to have a full 353 comprehensive review. Raven's coming out with the written review. So this is really just first impressions. And I will say, it's beautiful. Uh, this blue color, it's, it's very nice. It's not even coming off on camera as nice as it looks in person. Kind of pearly, a little, a little bit. It's very nice color. The hall sticks, whew, I'm not normally a, ooh, this is a very fancy, you know, stick. Is, is six millimeters too high for me or whatever. That's not me, but uh, I mean, I like these. these. These seem like they're on point. The buttons are all nice. It just, it feels premium, right? This is their bread and butter. This is what they know how to do. They know how to make a candy bar with well-positioned sticks, with nice face buttons, with all your component jazz on top. 
You got these nice little pads on the back to rest your fingers on. Uh, downward firing speakers, which aren't a problem unless you put it down like that. Kind of remix. I think this is just the culmination of years of Ann Burnick working on, you know, different, ah, oh, let's do a vertical. Let's do one that has SNES shape. Let's do this one that's a little long. Let's do this one that's a little thicker, you know? But this is their bread and butter, and this is what they do best. And I think this is really just the culmination of the 353 line. It looks premium. It feels premium. It plays premium. What's that, Gary? I don't have time for a pun. I gotta get this out for you, the viewers, so you know what our first impressions are. All right, I have time for one pun. They call it the 353M because it's mmm, mm, so good. You didn't like that one, Gary? Well, I can't all be winners.